Okay, so here's the wiring for the uh, sensor. We're working with this uh, 8L06 and you can see the connector on the bottom side. Uh, the pin on the far left is SCL, then SDA, then VCC, then ground. So that's how we're going to wire the connector up. So I've got this uh, Ethernet cable here you can see and basically I cut it right there, cut the end off, leaving the other end on for now. But I'm going to work with this long piece. This is maybe, I don't know, two feet long or something like that. But I want to make sure, you want to make sure you get it long enough. You want it extra long because uh, when you start routing it through the head and everything like that, it turns out that you really need more wire than you think. And uh, you don't want it to be too short and having to be splicing into it or anything like that. So make sure you leave plenty of wire for now and then we'll cut it down to the right size once we get it all mounted. Okay, so here's how I'm going to do it. This is uh, just a wire stripper. If you pinch too hard, it will cut the inside wire, so you have to go very loosely. And you just rotate it like this. And you see the, the stuff start stripping out, and then pull it like that. And so now you can see, hopefully, let's see if we can get the focus. You can see that it uh, doesn't look like we any damage to the wires. And how cool is this? Twisted pairs. So now we're going to take each one of these twisted pairs. We're going to untwist it a bit at the end here. Separate the wires out a bit. And then we're going to strip the ends. Not sure exactly what gauge this is, but just be careful. Again, you don't want to nick the wires, but you want to give yourself plenty of copper wire to work with, right? So you can see a uh, stripped off piece of copper wire there, and we're going to do that with all the other wires. And what we're going to do is use this good old contraption over there, soldering iron, to tin the leads. Um, so and we're just going to twist it with our fingers like this. Make sure it's nice and tight so none of the strands are kind of hanging out anywhere. Put it in the holder like this. Tip so it's ready for the solder. And we just tin that wire. Um, and then, <clears throat> then we need to cut the end off. You're just going to want just a tiny little bit of that so that tin wire hanging off the edge there outside of the insulation. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to use the ones that have the white strip to consider those the grounds. Uh, but we don't have enough room on those little tiny pins to connect uh, every one of these to four wires to one pin. So what we're going to do and we're going to use the green. I'm going to cut this piece off here. And we're going to solder this one wire to the pin. And then we're going to solder all the other wires to this end so that this one wire will carry ground a short path right to the home run sensor itself. All of the grounds and separate them out from the twisted pairs so that we have some length to them. Cut them so that they're the same length for Ethernet. The Omron sensor doesn't require that much power, so you could use uh, if your Ethernet cable has finer wires than these, that'll be fine. Okay, so the most, well in this case, so what we're going to do, and we are just going to twist all these guys together, like this, uh, and then solder them so that we have something to connect to our little cable.